over there looks super intimidating. You sure it's not gonna fall off? What is a power up? <laughs> Bro, what is up with freaking Hoyoverse and these steep hills that they be having? Many of our tribe's people love music and dance and have an amazing sense of rhythm. In the past, Outlanders have come here just to study our culture and exchange views. My parents wanted me to learn dance, but I wanted to become a warrior instead. became what it is today. All Saurians have their own personalities, but I think calling them our companions pretty much sums it up. <laughs> See? Ayo agrees with me. <sighs> oh! <laughs> Jasper! Okay, and you better not go leading your new friend astray, or I'm telling your parents. Okay, I was genuinely worried about what happened to Jasper before because they were like, Oh, yeah, where's Jasper at? I'm like, Please don't tell me Jasper got kidnapped or something. Like, come on now, you can't just give me him and then take him away from me like that. This is the most cherished and most sacred item in our tribe. It symbolizes the Wyab that protects us and grants us blessings. Wyab? Is that a god of some sort? Sort of. We believe the Wyab dwell beneath the earth, while the Pyro Archon hails from above. We hold regular gatherings here, actually. Our chief recounts and interprets dreams relating to our Wyab to decipher its will. The Wyab know the past and can foresee the future. Isn't that extraordinary? Huh. Kachina, what are you doing here? Chief! Oh, let me introduce you. This is Pakal, the chief of our tribe. Chief, these two just arrived in Natlin. They're super accomplished adventurers, and they're letting me stick by them so I can learn a thing or two. Kachina is a child of our tribe. Her safety's my responsibility, so I'll just come out and say it. I don't know how you met her, but I'm gonna need you to prove your identity. Whoa, 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 whoa! There's no need for that, Chief! They're good people! I can feel it! A 
feeling isn't going to satisfy your parents, Kachina. It's a valid concern. I get it. How about... Oh, uh, we show you our adventurer handbook. It's where all our previous travels are recorded. Hmm. The people who belong to the Adventurer's Guild are kind of a mixed bag. I prefer something more reliable. Hmm. Huh. You're the Traveler, and your Paimon is familiar. Paimon is a guide! Jeez, these rumors are getting out of control. Well, okay, maybe this one's not that bad. It does make you seem super powerful and mysterious, Traveler. Wait. Is there something special about those names? You haven't heard? Nope. Hmm. <laughs> Learn well from him, Kachina. It's unlikely you've ever had a teacher of greater merit. Really? To earn that kind of praise from the chief? You guys must be even stronger than I thought! Apologies for not trusting your word. Oh, don't worry about it. You were just doing your duty. Well, Kachina's still young, so you can never be too careful. As for you, Kachina, isn't registration about to close? Why haven't you headed out yet? Don't worry, Chief. I told my teammates to go ahead. I'll catch up with them in a bit. I may not be much of a fighter, but I am quick on my feet. <laughs> Kachina's trying not to worry him, huh? I see. Well, I... I hope I wasn't interrupting anything just now. If I did, just tell me where you left off, and I might be able to help with the explanations. Let me think. I told them about the Lyab, so now's the perfect time to dive into ancient names. Good thing you're here, Chief. I don't think I could explain it very well. Oh, right! That word kept popping up in our conversation earlier. So what does it mean exactly? Well, Natlan is a nation of heroes whose valiant deeds are preserved and passed down over time in the form of stories. You can think of an ancient name almost like a label for these stories. By mentioning an ancient name, we remind ourselves of the epic sagas of heroes past. For example, the most famous bear of my ancient name fought in 27 Night Warden Wars. By the time he fought in his last one, he was already over 60 years old. Even though he wasn't quite where he used to be physically speaking, he still managed to achieve top rankings during the pilgrimage. Impressive, right? So why do people inherit ancient names? Ancient names allow us to preserve the stories of the past, but they're also much more than that. Think of an ancient name almost like an heirloom passed down from generation to generation. Do you have your stone on you, Kachina? Of course. Here, take a look. Whoa, that black stone looks so mysterious. It's like there's something shiny inside it. It looks kind of like a obsidian feather. The Wyab decide who is deserving of inheriting an ancient name. Once a successor is selected, the name becomes theirs to bear, and their deeds are then preserved within it. As time passes, ancient names come to represent the heroic deeds of more and more bearers, and their value becomes even more profound. In turn, the accomplishments preserved within it serve as an inspiration for the next generation of successors. Just like me! <laughs> I'm still not sure why our Wyab chose me of all people. But if I didn't know the stories of all the past heroes, how they never stopped fighting, I probably would have given up a long time ago. So it's like a form of mental fortitude. Then you're saying this stone doesn't have any actual power? Like it's not gonna make Paimon super strong or smart? None at all. And that is precisely how it exercises its unique value. Think of it this way. If you become a hero because the heavens granted you strength, are your triumphs earned 
or given. Oh, Paimon gets it. If people start to ask those kinds of questions, the stories suddenly become a lot less inspirational. Someone had this to say about ancient names. <clears throat> Our forebearers carved miracles into obsidian rock. Yet future bearers looked upon them and saw strength. The miracles of the past become the motivations of the present. The limitations of the past become the breakthroughs of today. That's more or less the gist of it. So there's no rush, Kachina. Many people struggle to understand the Wyab's judgment after receiving an ancient name. As long as you never stop trying to improve your abilities and surpass yourself, your time will come. Thank you, Chief. I'll get it together, just you watch. Well, it's getting late. I've got to get to the Stadium of the Sacred Flame. Oh, uh, right. I'm not sure where you're headed, but mind taking a detour with me? Is that where the pilgrimage is taking place? Yep. And outside of competition season, it's the place where our intertribal gatherings are held. Will the Pyra Archon be there? Of course! She's the most important figure in the entire event! Sounds like a plan then. Let's go! Well, if the Traveler and Paimon are with you, then I don't need to worry about your safety. Be on your way now. Alright, we're off! See you later, Chief! <sighs> I got so carried away just now, I didn't consider what would happen if our destinations were different. Luckily, that's not the case. Or, well, I guess we just have to meet up after the tournament. You sure it's okay you didn't tell the Chief about your team? <sighs> chief Pakal's a really nice guy. If he knew the truth, he might even ask to join me. But... He's not as young as he used to be, and he's got some old injuries that still bother him. He's not cut out for any more attempts. He'll find out what really happened when he sees me compete. I'm sure I'll get an earful for lying, but this is for the best. You're a very considerate person, Kachina. Yeah, your teammates left you high and dry and you made sure they didn't feel guilty about it. It's not their fault, really. The pilgrimage is extremely important to the people of Natlan. We all grow up listening to stories about the heroes of the past and dream of becoming warriors with the strength to defend our nation. Not out of a selfish desire for glory, but to lend our strength to a greater cause. Anyway, don't worry about it for now. Once you witness the spectacle for yourself, maybe it'll all start to make more sense. It'll also be a great opportunity to experience our culture and history. Alright, time to leave our settlement. Let's head that way. Our last stop, the Statue of the Seven, is also in that direction. Let's go! Alright, Statue of the Seven. About to see what Pyro Traveler is about to be like. Let's just make sure that we go ahead and grab this. Follow the wind. All right. I'm interested to see what Pyro Traveler is going to be like. Wait, what's her RB? Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, and she can climb walls. Okay, that's actually really cool. Alright, but let's see on the path. The statue is so pretty! Is that what the Pyro Archon is like? You betcha! Beautiful, effortlessly confident, and absolutely awesome! Oh, since we're here, you might as well go get your shiny new elemental powers, Traveler! That's true. Huh? You can get elemental power from 
the statue of the seven? Oh, just you watch, Kachina. Hurry, light the statue of the seven. The world opens itself before those with noble hearts. Okay. Children of Echoes. Okay. It doesn't seem that big right now, but we're going to explore a lot of it. Like, seeing that, like, full... S well, then again, like, that small area was just what we traveled to, so we can't really say that, that we've seen everything. Alright. Uh, Wait. Huh? Uh, that's not right. Is the statue asleep or something? I don't sense anything. Also, why did the statue turn blue? It's almost as if it's reacting to the Hydra element that I have. Huh. Shouldn't you be able to shoot fireballs or summon flame pillars by now? I don't sense any elemental energy either. Strange. Must be something unique to Natland. Sorry, Katina. We got your hopes up for nothing. No, no, it's alright. If anything, I'm even more curious now. Were you really able to gain elemental powers just by touching the Statue of the Seven? That's something only vision bearers can use. Yup, it's always been that way. Still, it's not too clear on how or why, though. C could you show me? Only if you want to, I mean. No pressure. Sure thing. Take it away, Traveler! Wow! Different elemental powers! Wielded by a single person? I've never even heard of something like that! Let me give it a try! <laughs> Nope. Still just Geo. Anyway, I was right! You really are something special! Just wait until you hear about our previous adventures! Ooh! What's that? Are those dinosaurs? Reminds me of our time in Mondstadt with Devalin. Right? It's been ages since that day we first saw Devalin. We've come so far. Oh, before I forget, we've got a pretty long trek ahead of us, so here, take this. They look like shiny little gems, don't they? Don't be fooled, though. <laughs> it's actually candy. My mom made them. I always bring a few when I know I'm going to be out and about for a while. A little boost of sugar can really come in handy in a pinch. Woo! Paimon loves candy! Thanks! That's very generous of you. My pleasure, my pleasure! I've got all sorts of bits and bobs on me. I'm sure they'll come in handy at some point. Alright, Land of Saurians. That is very interesting that we don't get the element of Pyro. I was literally just talking about this before, like how every single region we always get locked into the story that takes you to the Statue of the Seven and then we get the element. There's no getting around it pretty much. Unless you like somehow get past the story in the first place. But yeah, besides for that, there's no real way to get past it. You kind of have to grain fruit, huh? 
But yeah, you kind of have to get the element. So this is the first time that we're actually like not getting the element. Are we supposed to hop down or is it just... Oh, who are you? Oh, you you are not a friendly. All right, let's All finish right. this fast. Finish this fast. Okay, you guys aren't friendly. Out of the way. <laughs> bay, 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 Bro, are, are you break dancing at me? Are you? Act did he actually get stuck in the ground? Out of the way, Bro, are they seriously? Are they really break dancing at me? Nah, that. that <laughs> That's kind of crazy how they're break dancing at me. Here goes. Oh, wait, how do we? There we go. Oh. Soon we could just use this for as long as we want. Imperishable night. Oh, wait, that burns through that bar. Is there a way we can replenish it? There's a specialty over here. Is this it? We're getting another dragon? Hold on, wait a minute. What are you? Oh, that's so cool. Okay, what what are your abilities? Okay. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. How far can this go? Do we have to hold it or can't sprint, which kind of sucks. Oh wait, what? Okay, that thing just blew up. There's so many things that are going on right now. Um, we need to make our way further this way. I kind of wish that they had a sprint. Oh, that's cool. That's really freaking cool. It, it beats walking, that's for sure. Oh, what is that? I want to leave it alone. Because it looks like some sort of, like, weird... Okay, yeah, we don't want to mess with that. Oh, there's a pyroculus over here. It does suck that we can't sprint, but like this whole being able to like jump across large areas thing is really cool. Oh. Oh, so we can just stay midair. Wait a minute. How how long can we stay in midair for? Ah, uh, so we only get two and then okay. Do we only get two or is it No, we only get two. Okay. That's still really cool though. Uh all right. Go ahead and make our way to the statue. And oh, it can run up walls. Wait. Hold on. Wait. 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 I didn't know it could run up walls. That's actually really cool.
Okay, that's cool. Okay, I, I, I actually love this thing. I want one. It's so cool. Alright, um... Pretty sure we need to leave it so we can actually open this up. Oh, okay, there it is. Still can't get elemental power, huh? Perhaps not one is just special. After all, we can possess dragons, so if, like, if anything, we can possess dragons, but we can't use pyro. I, I, I see that as a win. Like, equivalent exchange. Would you rather be able to use pyro and like not use it because you don't use traveler, or be able to pl play as cool dragons and be able to swing around like Spider Man? I like the dragons. Now that you mention it, okay. Paimon's. Okay, yeah. Alright. Back to being a dragon. Oh, I just love the. I love the dragon thing so much. And it's like, it's so cool because it creates a tether midair. Like, you don't even have to worry about, like, hanging on to anything or latching on to anything. It just makes its own tether. Oh, okay. It's forcing us into this. Excuse me. You two are travelers beyond this land, yes? <laughs> Sorry, but this little temple store is your companion. He's even got a lovely scarf tied to his tail. See, it's a little bundle of energy. Yep. And I love how Jasper has like the little flames on his like little horn as well. It's so cool. Well, forgive me for being presumptuous, but that kind of behavior is dangerous indeed. Traveling together with a Saurian, you mean? Humans and Saurian living together is pretty normal here, isn't it? Huh. Not exactly. Travel's good for Saurians and humans alike, but if you'll forgive my bluntness. Ah, sorry. All this talk I haven't introduced myself. Mancus, Mancus the name. I'm a researcher for Saurian relics and association, and I'm responsible for scholarly inquiries and certain tribal customs. Simply put, I study past tribal customs. And of course, I've heard our little Templosaur's name. May I have yours too? <laughs> Jasper's too cute. Ah, such energy. Looks like Jerome and Paimon has been taking good care of you. And he's wandered off, hasn't he? Yep. But what was he talking about before? How it's dangerous to travel with Jasper. Shame. He's such a vigorous little one, too. So what's the danger, exactly? My apologies. Eloquence is not my strong suit, but I really do think it's a shame. Alright, I'll be forthright. You must have seen the little Teplasars before, right? Yes? Jasper's different from them. You're talking about the red mark on his horn? I actually like the red mark on his horn. It, it gives him like his own like, individualism. I like it. That's not a mark. That's not a mark on a... English, jeez. That's not a mark that an ordinary Sarian would bear. In truth, records indicate that this... Is the Flame Lord's blessing. Huh. Wait, did Jasper get our pyro element? Is that why when we touch the statues of the seven they don't do anything? Because Jasper has it? That would be awesome. But I also kind of want pyro, so like... Probably gonna have to take that back. How to put it? Sarians with this mark often possess incredible power. Such as great strength with other Sarians, swifter swimming speeds, or being able to leap to greater heights. That that 100% sounds like perks to me. 
Where's the downside? But as I said before, this is a blessing from the flame lord, not their own power. The power of the far more ancient dragons and not one Syrians can no longer withstand it today. Oh. Okay. The Wayab and the Night Kingdom also reject this power, and as such, refuse to accept, accept such Saurians. And in the process of growing, they will sometimes be killed by this power, or driven mad by it. Both are dangerous possibilities. Perhaps I believe you should deliver him to the Children of Echoes, and they will deal with the matter appropriately. Deal with the matter? Bro, I, I said this once and I will say it again. You are not taking Jasper away from me. You you can't have me name something. Have you travel with them and then be like, hey, like, I, I know you named him, but we got to put him down. Like, no, no, nah. Mm -mm. If that one burns, it's, it, it's going to burn. It, it, it's the nation of it's the land of fire for a reason. All right. Ja Jasper sticking with me again apologies for my clumsy words but I believe it's best to leave this to us locals yeah yeah thanks for letting me know but you do not intend to give up on him I presume I do not abandon my companions especially those that I name myself <sighs> all right very well outlander your resolve is evident. I do not know if I should reveal this to you, for this is a secret that only we locals know. But if you wish to save Jasper, you must take him out on a pil pilgrimage to the volcano. Legends has it that our tribal warriors carry a token that was split in two, and that in the great volcano they will watch the name of their dragon companion as they remember the fallen dragon. Then, they will gain their Saurian, the Night Kingdom's acceptance once more. Why are you telling me this? Because the people of the Great Six Tribes no longer attempt this, nor have they the time to spare for such an attempt. But you are an outlander, a traveler from afar, unbound by the old-fashioned ideas that the tribes hold. And if you succeed, you will prove beyond a doubt that the inscriptions on some ancient relics and crumbling scrolls remain true to this day. This is the utmost importance to me, so if you would like to try, I will help you find that token. As for you, will you be able to save your companion? Sounds like a win-win to me. In that case, I shall let you know if I find the place. Alternatively, you can come find me. My research will take me near Children's of the Echoes for the time of being. Till we meet again then, friend. Huh. So, pretty much what I got out of that conversation is Jasper is better than everyone else and he should be treated as such. Yeah, long story short, Jasper's the goat. There's Jasper's out here being the goat. Like, literally just over here, born into greatness. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, it shouldn't happen too quickly anyway, so yeah, he should be fine. Well, we probably are going to need to find that token because he did say that Jasper might get hurt from it because he can't withstand the power. So, even though he's the goat, he, everyone has a limitation. So, we're going to have to find that token. All right, come on along, Jasper.